What's up, everybody? My name is Jeremy Ellis, and I'd like to welcome you to my first full-length drum machine finger drumming tutorial. All right, uh, you know, you can call it finger drumming, pad har harmonics, drum machine controllerism, you know, all this stuff. You know, I'm not even sure what to call it. It's, it's, a, it's basically a brand new art form on a relatively brand new instrument. Uh, when you compare it to piano or tabla or cello, those things have been around for hundreds, even thousands of years. Uh, in some cases. So, uh, you know, there's not a lot of educational material out there. So here we are. We're going we're gonna to try to like set some of this, this technique into stone for future generations and uh, for you right now. Okay. So what's the main mission here? Well, what we're going to do is uh, working with the main elements of a drum set, the kick, the snare, and the hi-hat, we're going to... Uh, explore all the different ways that we can assign those parts between the hands and the fingers until you hopefully will find your own way. The mission here is for you to find your own style, to find your own way of playing. Everyone's gonna wanna play it in uh, their own different style of music, so why not find your own different style of, of playing as well? And of course, like I said, you know, the, the best way to, to learn your own way is to learn all of the other ways and uh, maybe your, your, your way is going to be a mishmash of all the other ways. It's a beautiful thing. All right, so along the way, we're going to be focusing on technique as far as like where the hand should be positioned, uh, where the, where the uh, fingers should be dropping, that kind of stuff. Um, we're going to be borrowing a lot from piano, which is my uh, personal background. Um, also, I've borrowed some technique from tabla videos. I'm not a tabla expert in any single way, but I, I've uh, studied a little bit about how, how they're uh, moving their fingers, you know? Um, so, so why not borrow from, from hundreds, thousands of years of experience uh, and apply it to a brand new instrument? I said it. It's an instrument. It's a beautiful thing. All right, so what else are we going to be focusing on? Well, I already mentioned that uh, we're going to be working a little bit on... Uh, independence and applying a bunch of different ideas you know things like a drummer would 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 play a, a set drummer would take the hi-hat with one hand normally and the snare with another hand and then they work together on the snare for a second and then the foot's working all that kind of stuff well we're going to take those ideas and apply them in uh, various different ways here on the pads and, and hopefully towards the end of it you're, you're pretty comfortable with playing with just one hand uh, maybe you, you want to do it all the time, but it's a good thing to know how to do. Maybe some stuff like this. That kind of thing. You know, one, can, one hand will be able to do all the work. And, and in future chapters and future tutorials, I'll even be exploring uh, different ways to do all of that with one hand and then uh, some uh, musical samples and stuff uh, with the other hand. But for this one, we're just concentrating on the finger drumming aspect of it. Okay? So... Uh, what are some other things we're going to apply? Well, uh, ways of assigning sounds to the pads. Like I mentioned, everyone's going to have their own way. Uh, there, there's currently like a factory kit way. Every time you load up a factory kit, it tends to come with the, the sounds assigned in a certain way with a kick here and a snare here and the hi-hat there, that kind of stuff. Well, we're going to figure out ways to move those around. And also we're going to explore what I like to call the Jeremy way. Uh, and how did I... Uh, how did it evolve to the Jeremy way? Well, it, it evolved from uh, chopping up a lot of breaks back in the day. Breaks, drum breaks, little small sections of music from uh, amazing old funk tracks usually. Um, so that's another thing we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna chop up a break at one point. I have to say, this is not a sampling video. There are a lot of other fantastic tutorials that deal with uh, sampling. But I, I felt it was necessary to uh, basically show you how my way evolved and uh, I'm help you explore different ways that you're going to have your style and ways evolve. Okay, so uh, what are some good ways to, to use this tutorial? Well, maybe a good way is to watch the whole thing all the way through and figure out which sections are going to best apply to you, you know, because everyone's coming from a different background. You know, I've studied piano my entire life. Uh, Studied a lot of drums and percussion in high school and that kind of stuff. Learned a lot of Afro-Cuban rhythms along the way and applied those to my uh, piano style and, of course, to my 16-pad uh, style. And uh, so, so maybe you're going to want to take like one section at a time after that and or maybe even one video at a time 
for one day at a time, right? You know, I mean, like, uh, there's only so much time in the day, and there's a, a lot of information is going to be coming at you. So it might be best for you just to take one video, practice that for a day, come back and learn the other video. And if you guys, if, if you happen to be an expert, uh, then then maybe you can cruise through a section a day, or maybe you're just going to breeze through the whole thing and just be like, "Thank you very much, Jeremy. I appreciate your time." That would be awesome too. I would not mind that at all. Okay, so uh, you know why am I even talking about it anymore? Let's just let's just move along and make some beats.